I've returned this morning to the Sherwood Forest Country Park area. I've come just to make a check, a second check on a purple emperor larva that I found a few weeks ago. Despite a great deal of searching for overwintering purple emperor larva, I found just the one. It took a while. It's not easy to find these things. Anyway, the one that I found is still in situ. Thank goodness. I'll try and keep this in focus. I'm having to pull this branch down, but this is the only wild purple emperor larva that I'm aware of in the Sherwood Forest area. There are others that are being well monitored by Nick and Samantha Brownlee. And despite a lot of efforts and several days searching, this is still the only one that I found, but happy to find it and happy to monitor it. But it seems that since my last visit to check on this larva, it's had something of a lucky escape. And that lucky escape involves that. And that's quite a chunky branch of Scots pine that's come off. About the end of the branch measures about four inches in diameter. That has come directly through the sallow that this little purple emperor larva is currently sat on. It's quite surprising that it's not been knocked off. I'm not releasing the location of this sallow bush at the side of me where this purple emperor larva is. Not that I think people will come and look for it. People nowadays tend not to be bothered and don't want to do that kind of thing, but it's in respect to the great work that Nick and Samantha Brownlee are at present doing within the country park and at other sites on the Purple Emperor. They're doing a great deal of work monitoring the overwintering larva. It's nice that we've converted another bird watcher to the glories of insects. If anyone else wants to take up the challenge, feel free.